Welcome back to the channel to all my loyal viewers and subscribers and welcome to all the new viewers. Now in today's video, I'm going to give an update on Jareem Shelton case, otherwise known as J-Man. Everybody knows say uh, he was charged for a double loss of life in Lauda Hill, Florida, a Ford Lord and Musselman. In J-Man's first appearance at court, he was represented by a public defender because he couldn't afford a personal lawyer. However, now the public defenders Decides them now, nah, but I represent J Man. So stay tuned because you definitely want to hear the details as to the reason why them now nah longer represent him. So J Man is supposed to attend court on the 15th of February 2023 for a hearing and discovery proceedings. He was supposed to be represented by a lawyer from the public defender office. However, on the 3rd of February 2023, about 4.30 pm, the public defender office will submit a motion of withdrawal. For those who don't know, motion of withdrawal is basically a document in which the members from the public defender office are tell the court say yo them can't represent J-Man no more and they give the reason as to why them can't represent him no more. So if you look on your screen now, you can see this is the motion of withdrawal. So we are going to go through it and see the reason as to why the lawyer them decides them now but I represent J-Man. Because you can see the editing of this document state that motion to withdraw. It goes on to read, the law office of the public defender pursuant to section 27. Point five three zero, Florida State, move this court to relieve the public defender from further representation of the defendant in the above style case and as grounds therefore state the following. So basically yes I say we the liar now nah, but I represent J man and I'm gonna tell you the reason why we now represent. So number one reason state that the defendant was declared indigent by the clerk of court and this office was appointed to represent the defendant in this case. So basically, him declare indigent means he can't afford the basic life necessities. He can't take care of himself, basically he broke, he not no money, so he can't afford law. He can't afford any form of legal representation. The second reason state that the defendant is charged with two counts of first degree loss of life. However, it was reduced to two count of second degree loss of life, but basically them attack from the initial stage. Number three state that the state has filed its discovery submission listing Christine Emil as a state witness. Number four goes on to state the law office in the public defender previously represented Miss Emil in a confidential proceedings which represented Miss Emil. This office learned confidential information which would be relevant in the cross examination. So this really are the main reason why them can't represent J-Man no more. Because the prosecutor lists a female who the public defender represent one time already. So basically that person did have a case and they never have money same way and the public defender office represent them. When you represent the client, you can get certain information. Now that Miss Emil is a witness to the prosecution in a this case and she was previously represented by the public defender office that means that it's a basically a conflict of interest because the lawyer them from the public defender office already know the female here from a different case and you know when them a question you them are them, them going to dig in your background and the fact say you have client lawyer privilege from her previous case them can't represent her because they basically know too much about her and they're going to ask questions maybe, maybe where they already know from the previous case. So if you understand what I say, it's a conflict of interest for them already, them be a liar already and now they're going to question her. So the document goes further to read, but with undersigned counsel precluded from utilizing because of attorney client privilege. Further, NC, Miss Emile, juvenile data actually a witness of a portion of this event in a this case. Call 911 and gave a statement to the Lauder Hill police officer which was captured on his body camera. NC is not listed by the state as a witness but potentially be listed and is referred to in discovery as a witness. The law office of the public defender 
also previously represented her in a confidential matter and as a result learned confidential information about her in which would be relevant in cross-examination but which undersigned counsel is precluded from utilizing because of attorney-client privilege. So basically what they must say, the woman by the name of Miss Emile, fear her young daughter with them initial NC, she witnessed the matter, she talked to the police, she gave the police a statement, she, she called 911 when J-Man and the man them did take the life of food lord and, and, and muscle man. She was also listed as witness in the matter. We're going to do our next video based on the discovery where the police them provided to the public. These are public knowledge. So we're going to do our next video where I state all of the evidence that the police have so far. So now back to this now. So reason 5 and reason 6, you guys can just pause the video and go over it. Read it by yourself. Basically it has stated on what grounds them have for don't represent J-Man. So we move on now, now no, that this office no longer represent J-Man. So now he's basically an outer liar, at least for the time being. So can you know say so you need legal representation? The state not allow you to go to trial without no form of legal representation. But for now, he don't have a liar. He may go back to court the 15th of February. That are basically a week and a half from now. He may have no liar. Him the fight war for system, system war him a fight, him take up on him head from down a Montego Bay lead, him left Montego Bay, kind nearly dead down there, now him come to Florida, still a fight the same system war with the six. So more I know what Mr. Whitaker I go do for him, because Mr. Whitaker run the six camp in which he's a part of, six busted, so the leader of the camp, the leader of the system where you usually, where you fight the war for, where you get yourself jam up. Because this is a year war, it's a different man, a man war you fight and get yourself in a problem. What the leader of the system are going to do for you? So this is the youth them, you know, more the youth them, listen, open up them ears and listen. System war him did a fight, so the system is supposed to take care of you. You fight system war. The system to make sure so your lawyer provided, you always have money for your books in a jail, or your family well taken care of. If a system you fight war for. The youth them for open them eyes and see what I go on. See say your badness and see say certain things that make no sense. Because you usually fight war in Jamaica. For whatever reason you fight war, then I'm going to be a killer for no one another. Now you reach a Florida, you come to Florida and get yourself jam up. For your double loss of life. Now, your friend can't pay for you. And not even if you can't, your friend not pay for enough for my representation. Because maybe he no want it look like him the too close to it. He want it seems like say, it's a rumor. And for whatever reason, him not appear for you get a liar. It just not look good. I mean, no, no, you in your cell and you have to reminisce and look back upon everything. And if you come out, if you do beat this case and come out, you know, you may not think you're going to beat it. But if you do beat it and come out, I hope you change your life, you Try to segregate yourself from them people. I mean, I know you. I mean, I'm not dog in the fight. I'm in the business with Squash, nor Ramos, nor none of them. Just to talk about this case and the facts that we see in this case. Youth, you you go through everything now by yourself. You are alone. How much man the police them sit on the civilian scammer and you alone get caught so far. So if the other man them with their own squash, still their own squash and I go like them an idiot. And I realize that the system war where them a fight now nah, help them now nah, benefit them in a no way. Because even if them do get jam up, squash now nah, go help them, squash now nah, go look on them, squash nah, go seem, make it seem like he's an artist and him nah, associate himself with criminal. You are fight this yourself now. At first, you should have a liar. At least a liar I'm supposed to get for you. Because a female are a beast. But the fact that him get shot, when you go back and shoot up man, and you didn't take man life. Basically, for him. Why me say system? Because everybody knows you are squash. The six, the six camp a fight against Ramos, them and the bad breed them. Everybody in Jamaica know that. Nothing to hide. It's a system for why you fight youth, and you get yourself caught up. But on the other hand, you have a glad to say America, you're there, and they now go allow you to go to trial without any form of legal representation. So maybe they're going to get an ex public, um, public defender office from a different county for representing him in the same state of Florida. Eh? But he's not going to be able to go through the court system without no form of legal representation. So even though this office so they now represent him no more, maybe later on, you're going to see an ex, next public defender take the case. As soon as that is available, you don't know, but up on the case, 
We have all of the document them. We have all of everything. As I'm saying, I'm going to make a next video about the evidence in the discovery where the prosecutor provide to the theme defense team. All of the people them we are witness can see my everything. I'm going to do it in our next video. That's a Monday. So stay tuned. And let me know your feel about this in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Please remember to like the video, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so. And see you in the next video. And like I always said, remember to hug your loved ones.